This is Candy Apple TV. I am your host and founder, DIY Queen Diva. In today's Candy Apple tutorial, I will show and explain if you can skip the Candy Apple cleaning process using organic apples. I am cleaning my apples with warm water and drying them off with a paper towel. I am inserting the candy apple sticks using 431 candy apple recipe, which means four cups of sugar, three cups of water, and one cup of light corn syrup. Later on in this candy apple tutorial, I will show you the perfect crunch with these candy apples using 431 candy apple recipe. You can't get no better than this. After you have added all of your ingredients to the pot, you want to stir. Your candy apple mixture should flow and not feel thick and stiff unless you want thick candy apples. 99% of the time, I only use Lorraine's flavor, especially like strawberry. Alcohol is an ingredient, therefore I will wait to add the flavor when the candy reaches 280 degrees. 1% of the time, I use McCormick's flavorings. Everyone is not the same. You must test your own candy apples to see whether or not if you like this brand. Now, these are the drams. I do not use these drams. They are highly concentrated, and to me, they taste like cough syrup. This is my opinion and preference not to use drams. My candy apple mixture has cooked to 280 degrees. I am adding one and a half teaspoons of the Lorraine strawberry. You do not want to stir this candy apple mixture. What you want to do is put it back on the stove and let it cook until it reaches 300 degrees. Candy apple mixture will reach 300 degrees very fast once it hits 280. My candy apple mixture has reached 300 degrees. I will now give my candy apple mixture a good stir. I will also add Wilton's white icing color so my candy apples will not be translucent. I need to let these bubbles come down a little. Now I am going to go ahead and add the Wilton's white icing. You want to add a fourth to a teaspoon no more than a teaspoon of white. This is making the perfect strawberry color. However, I need a deeper pink. So I will use Hobby Lobby's Deep Pink Gel Food Coloring to make this candy apple mixture a deep pink. But when you add your gel food coloring, you want to make sure you stir and incorporate the gel food coloring really, really well. You want this to blend really well until your candy apple mixture is only one color. I was able to get 10 medium candy apples dip using this 431 candy apple recipe, which is good considering that I use 431 candy apple recipe because I know you can get up to six to eight large apples using this recipe. So out of the 10 candy apples, I was able to get dipped. Every last one of these candy apples ended up with bubbles. So when you see organic apples, it really doesn't mean that they are wax free or pesticide free. 99.9% .9 of the time, they will have wax on them. So make sure you let me know if you will continue to clean your apples, whether you're using organic apples or regular apples. Me, I don't even question it. I always clean all of my apples because I know personally 
there is always wax or the majority of the time there's always wax on organic apples out of all 10 candy apples every last candy apple came out with bubbles and that's because there is still wax on organic apples you must clean organic apples the same way you clean regular apples the flavor and crunch to these candy apples are everything i am amazed with loran's strawberry flavoring i love strawberries i place these candy apples in the refrigerator and baby these candy apples are good i love my candy apples cold i don't know what it is about cold candy apples but my candy apples must be cold i will show you one by one how these candy apples came out just for your information the majority of the time organic apples are not wax free waxing organic fruit is allowed under the usda national organic program rules pesticides are in organic farming as well so here's a look at the 10 apples that i dipped now the question is Will you skip the candy apple cleaning process for organic apples? Make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. What are you going to do now you know how organic apples work? Now let's see if they have the perfect crunch and what they taste like. <laughs> I'm greedy. I'm so greedy. If you have enjoyed this candy apple tutorial make sure you watch my next candy apple tutorial coming right up right here on candy apple tv